y'all god bless you in today's video we have another monday makeup and devotional i really pray that y'all are blessed before we get into it please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's devotional hey y'all today is monday november 7th and the title of today's devotional is god and the enemy and the devotional begins by saying, Some of the most moving moments in cinema are the ones in which the viewer feels two or three emotions at the same time. They are the moments when you simultaneously feel anger, empathy, and hope toward the protagonist. The moments when you want to run home to hug your family while also wanting to leave home to change the world too. In a similar way, there have been times in my life when I've been challenged by the enemy and experienced the presence of God at the same time. I wake up each day hoping and planning to share the love of Jesus with the people around me and around the world. Recently though, I've noticed that there is an enormous amount of pushback and a number of unpredictable obstacles that have gotten in the way. The extraordinary thing is that the obstacles come right after mountaintop experiences with God. I leave church only to find myself fighting with a friend through text messages. I finish my daily Bible reading only to be faced with an email from a person I would rather not talk to. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever felt so close to God only to find yourself ready for the day to end? Temptations and struggles are not unique to a life apart from God. They are an everyday occurrence in the life of a Jesus follower. If you get the chance, read through the book of Acts. The story of the first Christian churches. It starts with Jesus going back to heaven and sending down the Holy Spirit and then it tells the story of the spread of the Christian faith. You would think that the apostles, the men and women who were closest to Jesus, would have an easy time spreading their new faith around the world. Instead, they faced persecution and death. In the end, the church continued to grow. Why? Because it was obvious to non-Christians that Jesus' followers were serious. They were willing to die for their faith. It was something that inspired outsiders to become believers. I say all of this to challenge you to trust the process. The Christian life is full of both trials and joys. It's a lifelong walk with God and a lifelong fight against the enemy. So let the obstacles steal your faith in the one who will be with you until the end and into eternity. Today's Bible verse comes from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 10, and the scripture says, The joy of the Lord is your strength. Father God, I come to you, Father, and I thank you, Father God, for this devotional and for each and every person that has received, Father. I thank you, Father, that your joy is our strength, Father God. I pray that we will continue to trust in you, Father God, and trust in the process and the path that you have laid out for us through the trials, Father God, through the ups and the downs, Father God. We give you all honor and glory and praise, Father God, because you are worthy of it all. You are our rock and our strong tower. You have a plan for us, and your plan is for good and to prosper us. I pray, Father God, that we will just continue to trust in you. And as others see the faith in you, that would inspire them to become believers. I thank you, Father God, and I praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, y'all, that wraps up this video. I really pray that y'all were blessed by the devotional that I share. If you have any prayer requests, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. God bless y'all today and always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.